The sentence for second degree murder in Massachusetts is mandatory. It is life in prison. Now, in this case, there is the possibility of parole. The message from the victim's mother today is that justice has been served. I miss my son more than anyone could ever imagine, but I find great strength in knowing that he was a decent man and he was loved by so many. A grieving mother giving the judge and her son's killer a sense of the pain she and her family have been enduring for more than two years. Kathleen Boudreaux's son, Keith, died after a vicious, unprovoked assault in March 2015 in a bar in Quincy. Now the killer will spend his life behind bars. You know, it could have happened to any one of us. You know, you have a couple of beers, you go out some night, nobody's there watching your back and some badass bully comes up and takes your life. It's not right, so I think justice was served. 44-year-old Paul Fahey was the assailant, convicted this week of second-degree murder. We don't have too many murders in Norfolk County, but um, obviously the jury understood exactly what people were saying and came back in with less than two hours. It was, to, to us, that was kind of remarkable. Keith Boudreaux leaves behind two children, now ages 10 and 17. His family and friends filling the courtroom today as his mother and sister deliver victim impact statements before the sentencing. Keith Boudreaux was the exact opposite of Mr. Paul Fahey. He would be the person who would help a stranger up and never knock him down. Mr. Fahey, in closing, God forgives, I don't. Again, the sentence for Paul Fahey is the mandatory life in prison with the possibility of parole. He will become eligible for parole in 15 years. Reporting live in Dedham, Todd Kaskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5. All right.